Hi, I'm Jo from JH Leather and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this card holder. Let's get started. Okay, so these patterns are available to purchase on my website and Etsy store. And once you have them and you've downloaded them, you can then print them out. And what we're going to do is we're going to put them on to some card just to reinforce them. And this will make it a lot easier when we are sort of using them to mark onto our leather. So any card will do. I am just using an old cereal packet here. And then once you've got your patterns glued onto your card, you can then start cutting them out. So now we've got our patterns cut out, we can then transfer these onto our leather. Now, as with all my pattern packs, there is a written guide that goes with them as well as all the information about what leather to use and where to purchase them. So now we've got all our parts cut out what we want to do is on all of the cash pockets we're going to number one edge across the grain and the flesh side of the very top line of them. So now we've got everything cut out and edge, what we're going to do is we're going to take these card slots and take them over to the staining bench and just stain along that top edge. And then once you've stained them, you can do your crease line across the top as well. So you should have your cash pockets and card pockets looking at something like this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use these two inner card pockets for the time being. And we're going to set our divider to one eighth of an inch and mark that across the bottom of pocket A, as that will be where we will stitch it into the case to. Now we've done that, we need to actually just reduce the thickness on the edges of these inner pockets. So what we're going to do is using a paring knife or a skiving knife, we are going to reduce the thickness at the bottom and side edges down to nothing. So the reason we're doing this is because if we don't, it's going to be a very bulky wallet. So we just want to take this down to nothing. And we will do this on both pocket A and the inner cash pocket. And so once you've done that on both of your pockets, what we're going to do is we're going to start assembling our wallet. So what we're going to do is on both sides, we're going to assemble or level up our pockets and just mark where the tops of the inner pocket is going to sit. On pocket A, we're also going to mark across the bottom because that's going to be glued and stitched in. And once you've got everything marked out, what we can do is just glue that into place. And on your side with your cash pocket, you can also glue in the first of your pocket Bs. So if you want to, you can also put in two 
par A wallets if you wanted, or you can use two inner cash slots. They are both marked out the same, so it's a bit of a design choice and it's up to you. If you were going to put in two sort of card slots or you wanted it so that the wallet had four card slots in total, you would want to stitch across the bottom of the other side of your sort of pocket as well and make sure you cut out an extra part B so that you can cover the stitching on the outside of the case. So now we've got our card case assembled as far as we can get for the time being, what we're going to do is we're going to stitch in that inner card pocket. So I'm going to use my strap pricker for this because we're not going to see the stitches and it's going to be covered on the outside. We can use a larger stitching iron or like me, I'm using this pricking iron that is commonly used for stitching on girth straps. And we're just going to stitch across that line and get that pocket A secured in place. Okay, so when you finish stitching, we can then glue in the final two pockets. And when we put our oh, glue on our pocket for the outside, what we've got to do first is just mark on where it sits and then we can just scruff up the edges underneath that. And it's just going to help the glue to stick a bit more. And also this pocket is going to cover our stitching from the inner card pocket that we have just stitched in place. And now you'll notice on your patterns that there is a trimming sort of line on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our dividers to that distance and then we're going to draw around the whole of our case. Now having this trimming line allows us obviously to trim down the card wallet, but it also means that our edges are going to be all nice and even, which will give a better finish when we sort of polish the edges in a bit. So once you've drawn all your lines on, what we can do is we can then trim down these bits of the leather. And now if you wanted to, you can draw on some circles in the corner with a coin or a round object to make your corners round. I quite like these square corners, so what I'm going to do is just nick the corners with my knife. And then once we've done that, we can use our number one edge tool and edge all the way around both the inside and the outside of our card holder. And then once we've done that, we can then stain, polish and crease around the edges.
And once we've done that, we can then mark on where we're going to stitch to. So what we want to do is just transfer sort of a little line with our thumb from where the inner pockets finish. So basically we're going to have one stitch over the edge. So we just want to mark the edge of those inner pockets. And there is a guide also on your patterns. And we're just going to draw around between these two lines with our dividers set to our stitching width which is usually about one eighth of an inch from me. So once we've marked that out we can then use our pricking iron and stitch mark our case. So I'm using a Abbey 3.38 millimeter pricking iron which translates into about well it's between a seven and eight stitch marks per inch. And we're just going to stitch mark along our lines that we have just put in place. And now once we've done that, we are going to double hand stitch all the way around our wallet. So I'm using 318 linen thread here. Uh, but obviously depending on your stitch mark size that you've used and um, what your personal preference is it will depend on the thread size that you would like to use for your project. So in the description there will be a link to my thread guide video and there will also be a link in the top corner right here. So if you are struggling a bit as to what thread size that you want to use for your leather project hopefully that guide will give you a bit of a hand in choosing your threads. So once we have finished stitching, we can then use some sandpaper on our edges just to give them a quick buff before we do our final stain and polish. Now I know we added the trim line, so you don't necessarily have to do this, but it's a step that I do like to do regardless because it gives me a better finish to my edges now that we are going to go on to the final polishing and staining sort of stage. And so now we've done polishing the edges, we can recrease all the way around our wallet on both the outside and the inside. So you should have something that looks a little bit like this and the final thing we need to do before we can put our cards in is using a bone folder you just want to poke that inside the pockets just to remove any excess glue.
so thank you very much for watching if you do download this pattern pack and create some wallets from it please tag me in your creations on instagram i am at jhleather if you like the video please click the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos and tutorials and i'll see you in the next episode